I'm Mark Hansen, the prop master on Breaking Bad, season two. Anything the actor handles is considered a prop. Guns, food, watches, glasses, sunglasses. This whole section here is all crime scene. Photo albums, paperwork, stationery, wheelchairs, baby strollers, luggage. If they ask for something crazy on the day, there's no excuse not to have it. Maybe blue, but it's a bomb. This is the blue meth. This is essentially edible rock candy. It's yummy. <laughs> the blue meth is, is kind of the biggest storyline that goes along the whole season, as well as the pink teddy bear. And that was something that I had custom built to Vince Gilligan's concept, and then I brought in a teddy bear maker. She was able to take a drawing and make the real teddy bear. This became our hero guy here. We start the season off and he's in a pool, he's burnt up, we don't know what's going on, and then by the end of the season, he's falling from the sky. With Vince, you just don't know what's gonna be next, so you can't assume, like, oh, we'll just burn the teddy bear, because there might be a reason that it's burnt this way. He might have something planned on down the road it, two seasons from now. This is the gun that Jesse has the whole season. I thought Jesse would, he was buying a gun kind of on the street, so it wouldn't be anything really fancy. Pop, pop, pop. All the guns are real guns that have been altered to shoot blank firing ammunition. This is Hank's gun, it's a 40 cal Glock, which is issue for DEA. We want police watching the show go, wow, that's dead on. Beans. Beans, your caster beans. Vince is really pretty strict about keeping to uh, a real life scenario. I got real caster beans and I treated it like it was, you know, toxic on set because they're, they're terribly poisonous. You can't use a pinto bean or anything else. They have this iridescent green color in them that I couldn't fake it, but the actor never actually handled them. They poured them out and that was the whole scene. And then when they go to the scene where they're cutting up the bean or grinding it, that's when we painted pinto beans to look sim similar. <coughs> Whenever they're swinging something around, I just can't use a real bottle. You know, you have to have safety. So we'll make rubber versions of everything we do. There's a scene where they're beating on a ATM machine. They're beating on it with a sledgehammer, so if they used a real sledgehammer, it wouldn't last very long. So what I did is made rubber ones. These are just rubber sledgehammers that, you know, they could beat on whatever, and it won't hurt them. Later on in the season, Jesse gets into heroin. So I basically had to figure out how to make this black tar heroin so that the actors could use it safely and have it be placed in a spoon with liquid and a little bit of blue meth heated to where it then dissolves essentially clear and then to be able to drawn up into a needle. What we ended up doing is using gelatin mixed up with some black dye. If you don't heat up the gelatin, it stays kind of coarse and that's really a more accurate look. And it dissolves perfectly and almost totally clear and it really worked out uh, pretty well. For the actor to do what looks like an injection, we have these retractable needles, so looks like it's going in, but it's really just a fake retractable needle. Take that off. If the camera's doing a close-up shot where they want to see the heroin mix, they would never be able to see it on a normal size needle. So we have to make a bigger oversized needle that they can focus in on. When a prop is the reason that there's a storyline, couldn't ask for anything more. On this show, the props are so major that it uh, makes my job worthwhile.